All right, guys, welcome to Ask Dr. Jason. I am at Dr. Jason. I got my crew here. Big shout out to them for helping out. We are live. We are live streaming. Bring your questions on health, on healing, and on alignment, both mind and body, spine and mind. We're aligning spines and minds. So this is Ask Dr. Jason. So if you've got questions, if you've got questions, tweet them out to me on Twitter, at Dr. Warrell, with the hashtag, hashtag, Ask Dr. Jason, and we're gonna start. Sav, do we have some questions? Yes, we do. We got some questions, all right, let's roll. And if you wanna call in, if you wanna call in right now, we are at 818-205-1000. Call us in with your questions. I got you, let's do this. Let's go, Sav, first question. Okay, our first question is from Khadija, and she wants to know, does she have any other options in addition to her care? Okay, so Khadija, who is traveling all the way from Morocco to see us and who just started care, said, what else can I do in addition to chiropractic care to help my spine? That is a beautiful question. Here is the answer. Number one, when our spine goes out of alignment and subluxates, it's our inability to adapt to stress. And so what happens is there are three causes of that. The causes are trauma, the causes are toxins, and specifically auto-suggestion, or an easier way to say that would be your emotions, your mindset. So, Khadija's questions, read it one more time. What are my other options in addition to my care? Okay, in addition to my care, what else can I do? Number one is minimize, minimize or avoid traumas. That might be if you sit at a desk all day, you might wanna get up periodically, you might wanna stand up, you might wanna have a ball you can sit on, you might wanna do some stretches. Um, additionally, uh, avoiding accidents, you know, don't do dumb stuff where you're gonna get hurt. Uh, number two, toxins. We all know that there's certain foods that are good for us and there's other foods that are good for us. We love them. Hussa, we love them, but they're not good for us. So avoiding those toxins, I follow the 80-20 rule. What that means is 80% of the time I eat really, really, really well. 20% I don't. I eat whatever I want. And so toxins can affect you. And then the third one, in addition to your chiropractic care, is keeping your mind in the right place. Cut in that stinking thinking. Get your mind out of the gutter. Stop thinking about worry, about loss, about scarcity, about what you don't have. Actually focus on a positive outlook, an optimistic outlook. It's not about BS and just like Tony Robbins says, you know, there's no weeds in my backyard. There are weeds there, they'll take your garden. But what you wanna do is look at what is and then say, okay, where am I going and having a compelling vision. Okay, next question, let's go. Our next question comes from Madalena and she wants to know if changing her diet can help her. Oh my gosh, okay. Madalena, if you're not following this girl, at It's Called Balance. At It's Called Balance, she's an amazing, amazing lady. And you know, I get hungry every time I look at her Instagram feed because she just is so good with the food. So just like we mentioned, foods can affect, they absolutely can affect your body. And what happens when you eat foods that are either um, you know, too much sugar, it promotes inflammation, allergens like wheat, dairy, soy, corn, that sort of thing, they promote inflammation. That can manifest in your skin, it can manifest in your joints, in your bloodstream. So yes, foods specifically like wheat, dairy, soy, corn, and sugar are not good for us. They promote inflammation, they'll make your joints swell, they'll make you ache. Cutting those things or reducing them will certainly improve the condition of your spine and your health in general. It's called balance, follow her. Next question. Next question is from Celeste wants to know why her back always pops when she stretches. Amazing, okay, so Celeste has a question about her back always popping. Would you be so kind to grab me a spine real quick um, and I will show you. So Celeste, this is an amazing girl. She is at like OMG really, at like OMG really. Follow this girl, she's got a great head on our shoulders. So Savannah's grabbing a spine so I can show you Many times people, like I went to yoga this morning and they're saying, okay, bring your knee over, let's do a supine twist and we're bending and then you hear a pop pop or a clunk and people go, well, what is that? You know, my spine's moving, thank you so much, Sav. So, repeat the question for me, Sav. Why does my back always pop when I stretch? Why does my back always pop when I stretch? Here's why. When one vertebrae is subluxated or out of alignment, it's stuck, it's not moving, the other vertebrae above and or below will move too much in order to compensate. So if you're stretching and you're doing that supine twist and you're twisting and then you get a clunk, 
That's not actually an adjustment. An adjustment is specific and scientific. That is one of your vertebrae or two of your vertebrae compensating for the vertebrae that's really stuck. So you definitely want to get to a Cairo and Celeste, we got you at like OMG, really great question. Next, what do we got? Okay, the next question comes from Danielle Rowe. Danielle! She wants to know, are there any stretches that she can do to help? Danielle, what a great question. And big shout out to Danielle. She has been the number one follower for so, so long. She's amazing, amazing young lady. When I see this girl one day, I'm gonna give her a big hug, give her a kiss on the cheek and tell her I love her. So um, there are a lot of stretches you can do, but this is perhaps a very, very important point. Um, when your spine is out of alignment, you can stretch and stretch and stretch, and what's happening is actually the nerves that come out of your spine go up to the brain and they tell, they come back down and tell the muscles to hold tight, to bridge and basically support the spine. So there are a lot of stretches you can do, like hamstring stretches, like quad stretches, stretches even for your back over a Swiss ball, but truly if you don't have proper spinal alignment, those stretches are gonna be futile. It's gonna feel like, God, I can never really stretch enough. And one common thing that people do, I get a lot of people that reach out that say, you know what, I'm going to a chiropractor, and many times people aren't going enough. They're going maybe once a week or twice a week, when what they really need is three times, sometimes even four times a week for a period of time to get enough flexibility in their spine that then stretching becomes easier. So Danielle, we're gonna post some more stretching videos on YouTube, stay tuned. In the meantime, yes, do any stretches you like, but stay consistent on your care. Next question, thank you. Our next and last question, is there a limit to how often you can get adjusted? And that's from Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson, all right, so um, at Ryan Johnson TV, Great dude, amazing guy, amazing husband, uh, amazing producer. He says, is there a limit to how many times you can get adjusted? I would say that there's not a limit to how many times you can get adjusted any more than there's a limit to how many times you can brush your teeth. You know, if you go and indulge in a coffee and a croissant, you might wanna brush your teeth after that, both because of the sugar, because of the staining. So chiropractic, we work with the spine, but we really work with the brain. So can you adjust somebody too much? Absolutely. However, that's where the clinical practice, the science, the art comes in and knowing when and when not to adjust. And so what we want to do in a practice like mine, we practice corrective care, we do pre and post x-rays. What we're gonna do is we're going to set up a conservative care plan. We're going to administer the care, the chiropractic care, specific scientific adjusting. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take post films and we're gonna reassess. And so once we've gained that level of movement, we find it, we fix it, we leave it alone, or we pull somebody back to a maintenance wellness care program. So yes, you can get aligned too much, but you've gotta kinda of be a dummy to let that happen because, um, I mean, realistically, there's protocols and procedures that we have in place to not let that happen. So you gotta find the right Cairo wherever you're at. You gotta get the right Cairo. You gotta get proper chiropractic care where they take films, they do scans, they do reevaluations, they do assessments to measure how the spine's doing. Guys, if we have any last questions, I'm at, at Dr. Worrell on Twitter. You can tweet me out the questions. Uh, we got a lot of retweets here, um, loving that attention. We're gonna be doing this, Ask Dr. Jason, every week, Friday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It looks like that's all the questions we have for right now. At Kristen McGowan just tweeted us. She said, yes, she's definitely gonna have more chiropractic care. If you haven't checked out at Kristen McGowan, she's an amazing young lady. We've been in a couple of her vlogs. She says, yes, we're gonna be in some more. Um, other than that, I'm gonna refresh my screen really quick. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This is at Dr. Jason, and uh, we're going to upload this to YouTube, so we'll see you there.